And then I'm going to go back to the app folder. So in the same app folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it interface. And inside of this interface folder, I want to create the server so that I can map that server as well. So I'm going to do new file and then I'm going to do server.ts and I'm going to do export interface. And this is the server put in close curly braces. And remember, we have an ID, which is a number. We're also going to have an IP address, so IP address, which is a string. And then we have the name, which is also a string. And then we have the memory, so memory, also another string. And we have the type, so type, also another string. The image URL, so image URL, also another string. And then lastly, we had the status, so that's the status and we're going to give it a type of status. So the same status that we just defined as the enum, that's going to be this status. And you can see that it's auto imported up here. So this is the interface for the server. So whenever we are mapping everything to the front end, so when we make a request to the back end, we get the response to the front end. So that this application will be able to map the servers or the list of the servers into this interface right here. So that is what I need to do for this server. Now I'm going to close this and then I'm going to go back to the enum and I'm going to create another file and I'm going to call this file data-state.enum.ts. So this is going to represent the state of the application. And this is probably not going to be making a lot of sense right now, but this is going to make sense later. So just bear with me. So what I want to do again is just export this. So I'm going to say export enum and this is going to be the data state. So this is going to represent the data state of the application. And the state that I want to have, they are loading and I'm going to set it equal to another string. That's exactly the same thing. So we're going to say loading. So this is going to represent the application when it's in loading state. I'm going to press control B again to collapse this panel. And then I want the loaded state. So I'm going to say loaded and set this equal to the same string. And then lastly, I'm going to have an error state. So error. And I'm also going to set it equal to the same string. And the reason I'm setting these to the string is because I don't want to deal with the indices because whenever you have an enum by default, TypeScript is going to assign an index to this. So for the value for the loading, it's going to be zero and then that's going to be one and then two. And I don't want to deal with the indices or the numbers. And I'm also going to be showing this to the UI. So I don't want to show zero or one or two. I want to show an actual string that makes sense to humans. So I'm changing those and then, uh, you know, add the value directly as the same as the enum. So this is going to represent the state of our data. And let's go ahead and go back to the interface folder, create another file. And this is going to be the custom issue response. So I'm going to say custom dash response dot TS and control B again to collapse this. And I'm going to do export interface custom response. So remember, we create this response in the back end. We also need to map that in the front end. So that's what I'm creating here. And we have a timestamp and that is a date. And we have a status code, so status code, which is a number. And then we have the status, which in this case is going to be a string. And then we have the reason, also a string. And then we have the message, also another string. And we have the developer message also another string. And then in the back end, we have a map that's going to represent the data. So here I'm going to say data and then I'm going to give it a type of an object. So I'm going to do open and close curly braces. And inside of that data, we can have either servers, which is going to be an array of server. So I'm going to say server array. And it can also contain just one server whenever we're returning like one server. So if we call the get on the back end and then we pass in the ID, that's going to return one server. So here I can say server and also give it a type of server. And I need to import those. So quick fix import from our file. And another thing I want to do is to make these optional because we know that we're never going to get both of them at the same time. So I'm going to go here and put a question mark and also go here and put another question mark. So this is how we tell TypeScript that this is optional. So it's possible that we may not have this value inside of this data object.